Welcome to uh, FX Street, everyone. Make sure that you join us on YouTube by hitting subscribe, and you can follow uh, Akash, my co-host, and uh, we're both co-hosting, and uh, you can follow Akash on Twitter at here, and myself at uh, just analysis one. Taking a look at Dogecoin, um, we have a pretty uh, continue, pr pretty strong continuation move further south. Now, Ichimoku wise, this is this is like the prime conditions for some further downside pressure. The lagging spans below the cloud, prices below the cloud. There's relatively nothing here to to stop it from going lower, other than just I don't know lack of sellers and buyers. Uh, I don't expect the 18 cent level to hold. When I look at the volume profile on the left, uh, especially below 18 uh, 59, the volume profile, like I mean, this it's almost non-existent from from 18 five to uh, seven cents essentially. I mean, seven or eight cents. It's just it's just a wide open drop. Uh, there's a bit of support here at 12 and a half cents. That's also where the 100% FIB expansion is at. Uh, I would see some temporary support relatively between 10, 10 and 12 cents, but ultimately, I, I mean, I don't think it's outside the realm of possibility to see Doge dip even lower towards that 50% uh, FIB retracement and uh, where the 2021 volume point of control is at. Uh, I mean, if we're looking at, you know, an Elliott, uh, if we're looking at a corrective wave, I mean, that's well within that value area. Um, I've shifted Dogecoin on my charts to bearish conditions in the RSI. I've got a bear flag on the composite index. We haven't met the extremes yet in the optics bands. So there's a lot of pressure here to the south. And when I look at the um, relative rotation graph, uh, Doge is, I mean, currently it's in an it's in an area where it could outperform the market uh, from a bullish perspective compared to its peers. But, you know, the aggregate market seems very bare still. And um, yeah, that is kind of my outlook on it for, uh, for going into the remainder of the week. Uh, what do you see, Akash? I'll make sure to share my screen here. Yeah. Uh... Right, so I am looking at two things here right now. Uh, the first thing is uh, a potential double top, a double bottom formation here. Right? It could bounce off of this level, uh, but this uh, resistance level here, ranging from 0.21 to 0.22, is really crucial. Uh, it needs to flip above this uh, to have any kind of uh, uh, hope uh, that it's going to rally higher. But even after uh, reclaiming this as a support. Uh, there's honestly like a big chunk of consolidation that took place here and uh, around the, the 0.256, le 0 0.256 uh, level. We also need to close above this uh, and produce a higher high to have. Uh, then I think it'll be a little, uh, I will be uh, bullish on Doge, right? but if this fails to happen and uh, Doge proceeds lower, uh, it could uh, again form a triple tap here. Uh, triple tap has been uh, kind of like a fashion that I've, I've been seeing in a lot of uh, cryptocurrencies. This could, uh, however, uh, lead to a run up to lead to a 32% upswing uh, towards this uh, resistance level here at uh, 0.212. Uh, but anything above that, uh, it's kind of unlikely right now. Right, so. Uh, First thing is it needs to hold above the 0.19 uh, level here, support level. If it fails, uh, you could expect uh, those to either bounce off of the, the 0.17 or the 0.15 level here. Uh, if it do, if it does come down to the 0 0.16, 0 0.15 level here, I'm expecting a triple tap uh, formation to uh, come into play. Uh, in that case, a 30%, 32% upswing is what I'm looking for. Uh, but like you mentioned, Jonathan, uh, like if it does close uh, below this, uh, I'm looking at uh, this level here. Actually, it was from a dollar perspective, right? Which is uh, the point one two four is uh, where I'm looking to kind of have like a mild support. Uh, but other than that, it's zero point zero eight seven five uh, sure. level for Doge. So, so it's kind of like a make a break point for Doge, like I mentioned. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, I think you're a little bit more on the. Would you say you're a little bit more bullish than uh, bearish right now? 
or are you a little bit more bearish? I am still on the fence right now because I'm looking at these uh, levels, right? Uh, these three sure. levels, uh, 0 0.19, 0 0.17, and 0 0.15, uh, is where I'm expecting a, like a minor bounce, uh, which could, if the market structure of the if the if the market structure of the overall uh, like uh, Bitcoin improves, uh, in that case, yes, there's a possibility it could uh, go above the support level here, uh, the resistance level here. And then maybe even uh, make a run at the uh, the liquidity resting above uh, the point thirty one point three one cents, right? But if it doesn't, if the market condition continues to deteriorate, then uh, yeah, I'm I'm leaning bearish. So sure. it all depends. It all comes down to uh, what Bitcoin is going to do. Fifty three k or thirty five k. All right. So yeah, we're both um, everyone. Both of us are kind of leaning towards the downside move here. Uh, it's kind of the trend we are looking at given the risk off nature of uh, markets outside of cryptocurrencies and cryptos themselves just looks very much like things are going to continue further south. I'd like to thank you all for coming and watching and we look forward to speaking with you in our future videos.